Alrighty. <sighs> we are missing the event list. Is there a reason for that? What is going on with the event list? What the fuck? Guess we don't have one. The hell? There we go. <sighs> Hello, Ethan. What's up? When get out of class. Tomorrow? Uh anywhere between four and five. I have an exam, so I don't know how long the exam's actually gonna take. Why? Why aren't I studying? Well, first of all, I have all of tomorrow, and secondly, I just got back from a studying session. So, you know. That's why. I'll be studying again tomorrow. Or more tomorrow, I should say. In the summer of 1992, the FBI undertook an investigation in a small town in Virginia. Based on the official record of events, the following story has been written. Yeah, 6 p.m. March for me. I guess. Well, I mean... Yeah, okay, fine. Fine! I didn't need to get dinner or anything.
Oops. The fuck is everything breaking tonight? All of my shit is broke. Oh, hold on, one second. So I actually restream chat is showing up, but it's not showing up the way it's supposed to. Uh, where's that setting? Restream chat box. Why is it not? supposed to be transparent not pure white all right well now it's gone forever i guess good enough oh i actually get to play now okay i have hands oh shit i guess i can interact with the purse sound seems a little like i guess it's reverb Re reverb from the bathroom Uh, where's my interactivity there? I want to be able to mess up my makeup for the beginning of the game and then just have it stay like that the rest of the game. Oh, my guy. Practice like four hours a day. I carry so that you can have an easy practice time. <laughs> huh. 11 training room, 2 212 faculty, or facilities office. Executive office, technical and phase four, right? There is no left. Oh, I got your left. Virginia. So the music was super loud before, and now it's kind of... Oh wait, I changed the... <laughs> Dumbass. Changed the actual uh, audio on my headset and forgot about it. Oh, and now it's loud again. Alright, cool. Got on this CRT. Looking great with the newest in floppy drive technology. Okay, I'm still the woman. I assume that'll be who I'll play throughout the game. That's why they made a, a big deal about her FBI, uh... Oh, shit. Am I going to... Is this my daughter? Oh my god, Mom! Wait, is that me? I'm missing symbolism here. You gotta get one of those alarm, or, uh, not alarms. Yeah, alarm clocks, where you have to, like, shoot it to turn it off. 
kind of gimmick so that you have to like engage your brain. It's supposed to be better. Supposedly, this game is like better suited if you play it in 30 FPS, so that's what we're doing right now. I don't know. I don't think it's really gonna make a big difference in this kind of styling. Oh, more lipstick. Oh, nope. Oh. Okay. I guess it was a special occasion that we used the lipstick on the day that we got assigned. Maybe she's trying to look less feminine. She thinks it'll help their get ahead. Maybe we're at the point where uh, we've got some sexism in the FBI at this point. I don't know. I don't know when this is set. It didn't say a year, I don't think. It's interesting. So it turns into a circle. Whoa! It turns into a circle when you can interact with it, and you're too far away and you're going to turn into a diamond when you're actually close enough that you can interact with it. One day. First day. My key broke? Or she found a broken key. But it's not like my ass key. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. I can't do it, guys. I just turned and saw my entire life turn into flickery garbage. Virginia has been made to play at 30 f per f frames per second. We recommend you play at 30 frames per second to experience the game as intended. Well, fuck you. Because here's what I got to say about it. 60 ain't going to matter. I won't play it at 140. Get your panties out of toys. When I read the Steam community page, they said that it really didn't matter. They didn't really notice anything different when they played through on 30, 60, and 144. So, I mean, just for the sake of argument, we'll stay at 60, but I could probably play at 144 and be just as good. I guess I'm not talking to you? No, I'm just skipping the secretary to talk to the assistant director. That seems kind of not how things work. Cord McCarran. Is it? Alright. Oh, this is me. At the behest of the assistant director's office, Special Agent Maria Halper Halperin is the subject to... IA investigation? Why? I didn't get to read it. Thanks for that. Thanks, game. Oh, we're gonna throw two pages of an internal... In uh, I'm sure they'll let me read it in a second. I guess I'm getting, like, what? Uh, demoted? They're probably like, yeah, you were late to work today and you didn't show up with your makeup on. It's uh, grounds for instant dismissal. Oh my god. It's not, it's just kind of jarring. I understand what they're going for, but like... Oh, what's that on the ground? There's like a feather there. Actually, I'm going to go back for that because it might be a collectible and why I miss it. Because there's something to do with feather imagery in this game, so... We'll see. What the heck? What do heck? Yoink! Ooh, enhanced first person. Always makes a better game. Music cut out. Apparently, they didn't like that I walked all the way back. 
I assume, oh, I was gonna say, I assume they're about to jump cut me, but they did it. I am, like, going way into the basement. Am I, are we doing, like, the X-Files thing, where, like, I'm, I'm demoted down into, like, some closet because people don't like me anymore? Your name, Mulder? Alperin. Oh, this is my new office. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Is this the person who's getting me investigate the IA report? going on in the storyline. I missed like three words and now I'm completely lost. fucking incredibly loud and my volume reset so I'm probably not even like audible okay I'm thinking like okay can you hear me no that's still this game's really loud okay This game's really loud. This game is deafening. Okay. I care more about the missing kid poster, but I guess I'll pay the tab. I assume my job is to search the house. Okay, so father's a pastor. Father's a father, I guess. This door is labeled. Yeah, that's Lucas's room. All right, hold on. Hey, a feather. By the end of the game, maybe I'll be able to make a new bird. Let's go into Lucas's room. All right, cross above the door bed. Makes sense, religious parents. Probably a religious kid. Hmm. Few shirts hung up. Eaten or late. Oh, there's something here. Ah, the knapsack half done. Are the windows up there? Yeah, here we go. Oh, I have to click to step through. Alrighty. So we've got 
Assorted pictures. What's this? Huh. Yeah, he's got himself a little dark room set up here. That's cool. Good job, kid. Ah, a diary. An electric guitar? Hmm. Get the headphones for it. Ah. Looking significantly less grizzled since that brush with death. Good. It's always good. It's not being an asshole. That's, that's nice, I guess. Okay, we're turning into this gas station. Are we on the lookout for Lucas or just here for some snacks? I mean, gas probably too, but... Doesn't look like she has a low tank. It looks like it's full from this angle, but maybe it's not. Why am I doing that? Okay, she likes herself a pizza. I guess I'm taking that. Just in case I'm, I get hungry later on the job. Even though that's hers, I'm sure that's her prized possession. Okay, now we're going through her freaking... Okay. Ah. Uh, why? Why are we doing this? Wait a minute. Okay, so her her name is what also Maria. Yeah, what do you want? Kids will be kids. God, <laughs> dang it! I wonder if I could have looked in that purse while she was gone. Oh. Okay. Uh, my job is to act as an IA agent to investigate her. That's what we're doing here. I'm here to figure out what, what's up with her. I'm not, like, in trouble or anything. Interesting. So my job is to figure out if she's doing her job, I think. So we have this broken key. Got the IA documents, the missing person case that she's working on, which of course I'll work with her because I'm investigating her. She has no idea, she just thinks we're partners. Alright, so Lucas wants wanted to visit the Cannon Observatory Science Center. Hmm. Little kid likes space, liked aliens, also liked... he drew feather? Feather imagery is everywhere in this game. So there's a cave, now we know where it is. Um, more to it than that, though. Hmm. When exploring? There were pictures of a guy with some woman at a diner in his developing room. Okay, am I supposed to do something? I'm apparently asleep. Wait a minute. Oh, I get to walk around during this. Photographer enjoys music. Hey, okay. oh. They're boarding up his room? Do we assume his death? And even then, why would you... I never want to step foot in there again type deal. Red light? Are we going to walk into a development room? Or there's snow? Okay. We're back on day two. We're at work. We're going, I assume, back to the scene of the crime. Oh, nope. This is the director. Interesting. So I have, like, nightmares. Oh, fuck! What? Dude, Sam, uh, did she really pass the psychological evaluations to get this job? 
I have a, a doubt to that one. Um, just having some issues believing that. Oh. Hello, police chief? That's a nice floating pixel you have in the small of your back. I don't think you can see it on stream very well, but it's right there. Just a single little white pixel. Alright, I guess I'm going to help Rince. Ah. Uh, he's not here. A projector, a locket, we'll come back to that just in case. I assume... Anything that seems like it's right in the way seems like something that might skip it, uh, something I could find. So there could be like a feather in here or something. Ah, see? Shades. I take the shades? Hello? I have no respect for anyone's property. Oh, right clicking will cause me to move forward. Weird. Uh, so maybe she's not going under a pseudonym. Maybe she has a daughter. Or a wife. Or that was her. I don't know. But she wants me to leave. Oh. Oh, no, okay, we're just, okay. I misunderstood what was happening there. She was more of a let's get on with the work thing. Okay, so we were able to track down the location of this cave, but from the drawing at least, it doesn't even look like the cave is in the same, I thought it, the cave drawing would have shown it like right here. I guess it's a little farther in. This is a military base. The kid thought that there were aliens at the military base. He finds this cave that maybe leads past the fence line. So he sneaks on. Maybe there are aliens. Maybe the government had to kill him to keep it quiet. You know what I'm saying? This is the FBI and oh my goodness. What do we have here? This doesn't seem like just something he set up. Also, beer, cigarettes. This is a teen hangout. They have a car battery hooked up to some lights. And a bunch of birds. Locked behind. Huh. But why? It's one of those uh, birds to see if the mine is okay. Okay. Oh, God. She dead? Damn. Okay. She might actually be, you know. Okay, okay, she's fine. That's see, that's a good trick right there. That's good. That's pretty good. All right, so she took some head injuries. <sighs> when the animation goes through, it looks like the coffee gets lower every time, and yet when it actually comes back, it's the same height. Maybe it's just normal. Like I guess maybe they're modeling the tilting of the liquid, but it just it looked like it was changing. Oh, hey, what's up? Good thing I don't drink my coffee with my left hand, or that could have been awkward. Wait. Normal people don't shake with their left hand. It took me a second, because I'm left-handed, so I would love to be able to... Oh, bird's alive. Oh, it's going to fly out the window. Well, see ya. There goes the evidence. Uh... Oh. My bad, Chief. Yeah, we're gonna need a 35 uh, mile. God, what are those called? A patrol. Uh, cordon. 
Need like a 20 mile cordon around the area. We gotta collect that bird. All right, so, oh wait, these are not FBI. No, these are FBI agents, or these are the teens. Oh, this is the kid who flicked me off. Hey, you. I'm sorry. Why is he such an asshole? What kind of teen is this? Can I slap the shit out of him? Get a knife on him. Nothing in his wallet? That seems unlikely. Not even ID. Oh, there is something in it. Millennial Mall, or mi Millennium Mall. And there's some kind of puzzle there. Okay. Retail complex and commercial hub preparing Burgess County for the 21st century. Space for 240 stores. Family restaurants and event facilities. Parking for over a thousand automobiles. Under construction. Maybe that wasn't a military base. Maybe that's the construction of that mall, but that didn't seem like it. Yeah. Oh, I have to... Do I solve the puzzle? No. What the hell is this? What is going on in this game? I, like, take evidence and shit? What? A red envelope? What? What kind of bullshit... What? I took it home with me? I was just like, let me take a piece of that. I didn't need it. Wednesday. It's been three days on the case. So far, we've been pushed over by two people. Oh, shit. Strange vibrating noises. That's not what I came in here to hear. Got nothing on the projector. We're we're back to like the hallucinations, by the way. Police chief. Okay. I don't really know what to think of about this game. I don't really know what to say because I don't know what's going on. It's so arbitrary. Arbitrary? Strange. Un... Nothing... Makes sense. There's nothing to base everything off of. It's all disjointed and chaotic. And then it gets me! Oh! Oh! Okay. So we're... Well... Could be a dream still, but maybe not. Uh, we may be writing reports about the internal investigation, so we might be reporting into him. Secondhand smoke kills, by the way, although it won't really matter for a couple more years. Alright, so it's at this point that he's going to conclude the investigation. And we're going to go, No, we have to get that locket back for her! It's all my fault. Info? That's kind of a abstract command. Maria Halperin. 
Maria Ortega. So she's a special agent status active. Ortega. We want number one. Please see Halpern. Oh, but now it says two. What? That doesn't make any sense. Or, oh, no, never mind. Uh, information not in database. Please refer to the records department. Is this the records computer? Ah, now we're doing the... Dude, these are awesome! These are those little microfiche, I think. Right? That's what they're called? Or film? The, they're the, like, newsreels? I think there's one of these in our school library. Oh. Commending one of our own, distinguished special agent Judith Ortega, one of the Bureau's intake of go-getting female agents, was today awarded the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement for her extraordinary work cracking the Holliston Lydecker case. During her time with the FBI, the plucky young wife and mother of one has set a high watermark amongst her lady contemporaries. This reporter feels Mrs. Ortega is fast establishing, fast establishing herself as a role model for law-abiding colored women everywhere. Mr. Albert Ortega said he saw his moral influence reflected in his wife's achievement. Director Hoover was not in attendance, but is said to be encouraged by the work of the Bureau at large. That's a political statement at the end there. <laughs> What am I supposed to... Alright. The Ortega woman continues to make wild allegations regarding conspiracy and supposed breachings of the ethical guidelines, and I am concerned how her spurious findings might be interpreted were they to reach the public at large. Your reputation, mine, and that of the Bureau must be safeguarded. The court understands this, and I value his cooperation in this sensitive matter. It's common knowledge internally that, while sanctioned by applied sciences, Ortega has a predilection for unconventional methods. I feel this could be turned to our advantage were deniability to be an issue. Having taken your recommended steps to suppress this activity and divert Agent Ortega's inquisitiveness into more productive avenues. But if this woman's overenthusiastic behavior persists, we should be forced to take additional methods. Okay, so cover up. That's what I'm talking about. How does this work? How does she know when to stop it? Oh, here we go. You better not skip me off this so I can fucking read it. Under suspicion of gross misconduct, misuse of FBI or laboratory property, breach of the ethical standards regarding prohibited use of controlled substances, and insubordination, Special Agent Judith Ortega has been the subject of a covert investigation of justice internal affairs no 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 department of justice internal affairs investigation for a period of no less than something months uh five months it's five months you can see it at the top of the uh the document it says investigative period the findings of this investigation are that or Agent Ortega should face uh, charges on all accounts. It is our recommendation that she should be suspended immediately without pay and stripped of her special agent status, or no, and her special agent status should be uh, revoked indefinitely pending a formal tribunal. Wow, I'm amazing. I can just read words that aren't even there. It's, it's fucking fantastic. She's upset. Okay, we've got political movements on the march. He's saying hello to everybody. 
Giving out a badge, huh? Bring home the bacon? Is that what it said? Yeah. Kevin Bacon, my guy. Didn't expect to see him here. We never finish our... Stop leaving like 90% full coffees. It's a waste of money. To click on something? No, okay. God, this game... Le I never know what's going on in this video game. Uh... Shit. Dominion construction. Ah, look at that. Observatory. All right, let's hop out of here. Never mind. Look at that. I mean, you probably wouldn't want to look through that right now because it's daytime and you'd probably lose your sight, but... You know, all good. Regard oh, okay. Got a loose floorboard and through it grows a flower. Game has weird things that you can interact with. Hmm. Been uh, abandoned. It looks like. Possibly ransacked. Broken floors are a sign that it shouldn't really be under construction. It doesn't make sense that they would have it set up this way. Oh, okay. Am I looking for something in particular, or are you just gonna keep searching these? Ah, uh, you can't really go upstairs. So, is again, is there a purpose for me? Am I supposed to see something? Ah, I can open this door. Do we have a gun? Oh, it's the wife and the husband. Lucas's parents. Hmm, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense though. They literally came in, she slapped him, and then they left. Got a lock picking tool? They make a lock picking tool? Like a, a weird gun thing? I've only ever seen people do it manually with like a tool and a tension run. Okay, so there seems to be more to this. At least that's the thought. Might come back. Hmm. I'm gonna check the door at the end of the hall. Ah, the office. Hmm. So the lock puzzle? Sojourner's Truth.
See, the funny part is, is this story seems like it's almost going to go through the same thing where she's going to lose a partner. She lost a partner into this investigation, and we're going to become friends, and then I'm going to lose her to, to this whole thing. Can you take my ring? Why would she, why wouldn't she just keep it? Don't need money! Don't need a Don't need a credit card tonight. Oh, maybe that's why she did it. It's stuck on hand. Oh, Is a circle. You can't do that. That's impossible. This game is unethical. It's, it's un unreliable. It's a. Uh, I don't know. Just trying to pass the time. Make some conversation. Keep drinking that beer. Maximum effort. All right, Thursday. This is day four of the investigation. So we found that they have some kind of incriminating evidence here. Somehow they were able to find that bird. And then it died. At least I assume that wasn't a dream for that section. I really don't know because they have no way of showing. Um, wait a minute. This is not my house. I flipped over at her house, and I am locked in because she has a deadbolt, so I'll need to find her if I want to leave. Interesting. So I slept on her couch, obviously, so I may not have banged. She has one of those old person things. Yeah, the old people chairs. Feather. Okay. Someone was sick. But nothing I can interact with in here. I should go back. There might have been something at this door. Feather. Nice. It's been packed. This is where she irons. She also has something here. <coughs> Hair dryer. This is her bedroom. Alright. Into the kitchen we go. Ransacked. I don't know why you would just walk into somebody's bathroom. She could have been in here, but okay. Here I is. I'm actually like really dark. I don't know if I'm supposed to be black or if I'm supposed to be like a like a Native American. They can have kind of similar skin sets. It's less common, I would say. They're usually not that dark, but it is within the range of possibility. I feel like my skin color is like tinted way more towards the red scale than hers is. That's why I wonder. 
She's making eggs. Who eats breakfast? That is for chumps. I only wanted one, thanks. Sound design in this game is pretty good. Oh, so I imagined the dead bird, I guess. <sighs> of course I did. In her, yeah, we're in her bathroom. <laughs> You're telling me the FBI doesn't have their own, uh, like, stations that, and, like, a, a department that could do this better? Are those chains? What is that? set of chains on something. Figured it was an affair. Ginger-haired freak! Wait, was it you cheating on someone? Were you cheating on your wife? Because you're a pastor, isn't that like double bad? Oh, feather! Yeet, sorry, I'm gonna have to cut this investigation short. Alrighty. I guess I'm done with you. Free to go, sir. Rumpth, rumpth, I will go. Rumpth, rumpth. Who cheated on who here? Okay, so he definitely cheated on her. Couldn't hit people, by the way. Ah, uh, here's the, uh, a fairy, a fair, a fairer, a afferent, no leads to be found here. Ah, uh, that is not a male and a female, it doesn't look like, that looks like a dude and another guy. One with a briefcase. And then we still have this kind of weird chain thing. Are we looking at a knee? Like a leg? And then they're holding like a chain? Oh, I should drink some coffee. Oh! It's a, a set of like hands clasped. There we go. There we go. And an observatory. Hey! I uh, visited Fairfax Residence Kingdom, Virginia as part of an investigation into missing purse case in this. Led the questioning of the Fairfax parents, also attending with Sheriff Taft. Left the Fairfax property early evening. Unusual encounter on the road. Uh, involving buffalo, not pertinent to the case. Opportunity to investigate Halperin's belongings did not reveal any immediately suspicious items. Tuesday, a potential line of investigation involving a personal item belonging to Halperin, a small locket depicting a figure. Will attempt to establish the identity of this individual, assumed to be a relative, possibly parent or grandparent. Evidence obtained at the Fairfax residence uh, led myself and Agent Halperin to a quarry late local to Kingdom.
Okay, but uh, I've been tasked with monitoring Agent Halperin with instruction to, I don't know, just monitor, investigate her. Am I getting out her side? Oh, I, like, helped her in. You build up a trust for your partner, and, like, the whole time I'm technically, like, backstabbing her. Kind of shitty. Human race, like, thrives on coffee. I've never really been a coffee person. Here we go. Oh, those are military trucks. I'm back on, I'm back on theory A. He did find evidence of aliens. And they covered it up. We going after him? Nope, we didn't care about them. Hmm. That's interesting. The military trucks, maybe they had a use to be here, but him? A political candidate showing up at an abandoned private event? Uh. Yeah, don't hit him, please. Thanks. Oh, she got out. Well, as I'm sure you know, you have no warrant to search this proper tie. It's a private event, ma'am. Something along those lines. God damn it. Oh, I thought she was starting the car. I'm like, am I about to die? I feel like this game was made by me. I was like, I want this big, expansive world. And then, like, this is my level of, like, 3D modeling. It's not. I can't 3D model this well. But, like, it's, it's like, that low effort looking. It's, like, low poly style. So it... Uh-oh. 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 Oh! You're an IA. What the fuck? I trusted you. Oh, she just got. I realized she just got me. That's a stuffed animal. Yeah, that thing literally was just constantly falling over and opening and like you need to get a locked bag if you're gonna be keeping secrets my guy now I have to report to the boss that uh I've I can no longer do this or not I guess I'm gonna go try and talk to her so weird how they just like cut you places so non-typical in a game atypical I don't ingerish very well shake with their left there we go wait
<sighs> Can't better start making sense at the end. We're like halfway through it. Better start like tying itself together. Alright. I'm alone. Whoa, we are driving really far off the side of the road. Are we gonna crash in that bison? zone? We're gonna go get her to lock it. So that we can be friends again. But first, I've got to pick flowers. I collect flowers and bird feathers. Ain't I just the girliest girl? Hmm. I liked Firewatch. This game reminds me of Firewatch a decent amount. I guess I'm gonna climb this? Can I climb this? Alright, kind of want to play Firewatch. Good game. That's what it is. Interactive narrative where you like constantly talk with the radios. Do I see it on here? Is there a reason I'm climbing forward? I'm gonna die. Uh oh. It didn't even break. I'm alive. Okay, well that's all cool, but like I don't know how I'm getting back up that. Hopefully I have a phone. I don't know that those have been invented yet. That's not what I needed right now. What in the fuck? Are there really aliens here? Huh? So what about Mexicans? <laughs> That actually worked. She was making like the smallest tiny little noises there. Uh, there's no way that this kid had long arm. Are you kidding me? He went through that set of trees? This game is what I call grade A bullshit if you think I believe for half a second that the locket is all the way over here. Bullshit. And it landed on this rock right there where it could gleam and glisten and not in the grass around it. Hmm. Opens it up, it's a different person. Whoops, wrong locket. Yeah, I get it. We're living through the same routine that we were we were doing when we were hanging out with buds, but you know, now she's not here. Oh, <sighs> Are we gonna go prove her right? We're gonna go like uncover all the shit that she dug up before they kicked her out of the FBI.
Don't slip. Oh, we're at a house. Use the lock picking tool. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, okay, you do need your own tension hammer. It's just like... Weird. How does that work? Is that raking? Because raking is a technique I could see you being able to do with a machine. This is her room. Why wouldn't she be in her room? Oh, this isn't the exit that was locked. Chemical workstations, photo development, reels and reels of VHS tapes, gems. Fuck, is this a Wiccan station? She making like fucking spells? And then audio recording. Lots of audio recording. An EKG? She's got a lie detector in her house. Polygraph. An EKG. What am I doing? Are those peppers? Does she have boxes of peppers? What the fuck is this lady? And it all points to the chief, I think this is. He's part of some big conspiracy. Why would you take the picture? You're like the most obvious per- you're not- Okay, you can take the files. Because she's probably already looked at those ones, but for you to take the picture is just dumb. You're dummy hungry. <sighs> Big dumb idiot. Are we reporting to him all the stuff we found at her apartment, or are we gonna try and bring him down because he's part of the conspiracy thing? What is happening here? Oh. Did we get her fired, or like, are, it shouldn't be that hard to find a work colleague. It really shouldn't. Ooh, maybe maybe we hit a bison and then she shows up at the hospital and we give it to her and we can reconcile. Hit that bison, bitch. Auger, she's gonna look back. It's gonna happen. We're gonna hit that bison. See, that's put away, so now we can get into a crash and we'll still have it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, we're going back up onto that place we had drinks with her. Why are we just recreate? Yeah, we had, like, a nice week. We got to know each other, and now we're, like, fucking recreating everything we did with them. Oh, shit, she's actually here. Wait, wait. Wait, what? This, this is the IA. So? Uh. That, I don't even under, red envelope. What are these red envelopes? Is 
she admitting that she broke into my apartment? Final day. What? What kind of fucking monsters live in this world that some people can like sleep in clothes? Ugh. Yeah, what's up? Dude, same. No, okay. I'm just Dirk. I'm not like... They frame me for the kid's disappearance? Is that why the parents are there? Must be. <sighs> Alright. Here's the story of how to quickly get kicked out of the FBI in like a week. If any of you are taking notes. <sighs> Tired. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, uh, well rested. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the day. What the hell? The mirror's turned off for a second. Yeah, dude. Can I unlock this door with my door key thing? Yeah, what's up? Wait, what? You're letting me out? Why? What? What gave me the authority to get out of that jail cell? I get back the pages I threw? Did I decide to rat her out? I gave him the report and then it was good or what? Oh, this is a dream, isn't it? Are we saying I was actually able to go through with the whole by investigation turn? I don't believe it. I don't believe it for one second. It's a dream. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? So she did. She turned in the report and then she got immediately assigned to investigate the dude next to her that she was friends with. Oh my god. Oh no, she.
A sec. Deputy Assistant Director. Hmm, I hate myself. Was it worth it? No, probably not. I'm the deputy director of the FBI. And now I welcome in a fresh face. And I assume Asian woman. But I don't know, she might be white. Delegate the task of learning all about this guy. So that you too can learn to hate yourself. It's a hard job being an IA. Yeah, I see that chipper expression. Off to do the work. Bright new face! Not yet tarnished by this harsh job. <sighs> Kids. Unsolved missing persons case. Guess D. Hmm. Her office, long since empty from her prison stint, I assume. I, I mean, I, I, I assume she went to jail for whatever it is she did. I guess she took case files home. Lots of them. I don't know. I don't know what kind of jail time you get for that kind of thing. I don't think she would have been, like, imprisoned for life. Probably would have lost her career. Okay, so that was a whole dream sequence. Now we're giving her this and we're doing something completely different, I assume. Is it a drug? It, is it a drug? That like patch? Is it was that this entire time? Was that just a drug? What is this game? This game is absolutely insane! I don't know that I agree with a narrative based in, like... Like... I'm gonna be completely... Fucking... Unexplainable throughout its entirety. You're never gonna know what's right. You're never gonna know if they're dreaming or awake. You never know whether the stakes you face are actually real. I don't know that I agree with it. I get what they were going for, and so far it's been quite the experience. It's just weird. Especially when you're gonna combine that with a narrative in which, you know, there's no words. So you're supposed to kind of feel for it anyway? Uh, I don't know. Seems like a stretch. You make the player do a lot of the mental work here. We never found out... Oh, wait, no, we did. It was the teens. The teens who flicked us off. That's right. Who had a little hangout here. But Lucas took pictures as well as drawing this place, so we can assume that he caught them in the act, I guess? The teens murdered him? Because he was onto their little thing? The aliens abducted him? Who knows at this point? 
I'm still in the world of I don't know how much is based on reality. Are the cave walls actually changing or are they just do they appear to because of the light? No, no, okay, they're definitely morphing around. Oh my god. This is the incredible. We've gotten gotten to the point where nothing makes any fucking sense still. All right. Jump. No return. Oh, that was far. That was like 10 that was like 10 feet. Oh, good thing. Good thing we're still in, you know, make believe land. I mean, those are the, that's, that's a lot of fucking people. Wait, that's the chick. That's your girl. Your friend. Oh. Fuck this game. Oh, it's not you building the ship, it's the... Okay, it's Taft. He could have re-glued it? What is happening? What is this bullshit? Are we... Did we find it? Are we turning them all in? Since when do I drink alcohol? I have a baby? Or are you just giving me a child? Oh. Wait, but that says McCarran. That's not me, is it? This is another... Okay, so I'm back to being the director, but now I'm eating with my secretary? Who the fuck does that? They think they're people. 
can't treat secretaries like people. Oh, no, I'm living from his perspective now. Okay, well, now I'm not. What the fuck? I'm... I'm swapping places. Here's the story then. Oh shit, well. Mister, you get out of here. That's the wife. I killed the boar, or buffalo. Did it, Dad. I got into the FBI. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. You made an old man proud. Take this. Unlock the door. Open the gates of hell. Let free your demon spawn brethren. Oh my god, a red box. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is why the key broke. But at least it broke after unlocking the box. And inside... A red bird. Oh, apparently I'm gonna burn the shit. Pull back. Don't do it. Pull back. I don't want to do it. Fuck you. You don't know what's in there. God, not the anal probe again. Anything but the anal probe. You did that last week, Jim. Ha <laughs> 
What? 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 That? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Calling the big old bullshits right here. Okay. Let's look at this um, a synopsis of the game story so that we can figure out what's going on here. Ann Tarver is a freshly christened FBI agent at the game's beginning and is quickly assigned to two cases. The search for a local missing boy, Lucas Fairfax, and the investigation of a fa fellow agent, Maria Halperin. Halperin has been consigned... Has been con consigned? Fox Mer Mulder style to the basement office and is clearly a pariah. The Fairfax case The Fairfax case leads both down uh, both agents down a rabbit hole as they discover a secret society operating in Kingdom, Virginia. Most of what then springs forth from this simple plot is channeled through the game's protagonist Anne and so this is where we will explore most of the game's clues. Perhaps the most important symbol tied to Anne is the broken key that she carries through the game. The first large piece of the puzzle to her character. When Anne became an FBI officer, she proudly went to tell her father, who was ill in a hospital bed. His condition is presumably fatal because he asked, asked her to do something unusual for him. To burn a box that he has in his closet. The cardboard box that uh, she is to burn is housed within a more secure metal one, and the key to this metal box is what the father gives her. It breaks off in the lock as it opens. Anne does not look inside the box, perhaps afraid of what she might find, and puts it in a furnace. This furnace then becomes a recurring image in Anne's mind. Appearing periodically in Anne's dreams, the furnace serves as a constant reminder of the choice she made to protect her father and of the mystery that continues to haunt her as to what exactly was burned. How bad could it have possibly been? How much does she trust her father? She's terrified of what might have been in the box. Good men usually don't need things burned. Uh, during one particularly disturbing sequence, Anne dreams of a deserted highway at night. The furnace stands in the middle of the road ahead of her on the floor. Yeah, we know this. There are scattered picture, missing picture posters with Lucas's face on them. The crucial thing to take away here is that Anne is terrified that Lucas may well have gone the same way. 
Lucas may have been put into the furnace, figuratively, by someone who needed him out of the picture. Anne's fears are firstly that the boy may have been killed, and secondly that her actions burning the box are akin to what may have happened to Lucas in Kingdom. Perhaps Lucas knew too much. The missing boy is the heart of the story. Um, on one hand, Lucas re represents a fulcrum that Anne's conscience sways on, and on the other act, or, and on the other, he acts as a torch shining through the darker and uglier aspects of Kingdom's community, much in the same way that the character Laura Palmer managed in one of the game's biggest benefactors, Twin Peaks. It becomes clear early on, when Anne stumbles on his secret development lab, that Lucas has a hobby, photography. Not an ideal one to have in a town where all sorts of people have plenty to hide. Among the photos, Anne finds uh, the snaps of the boy's father engaged in an affair and the location of what ends up being a meeting point for a group of very shady people. Lucas's knowledge was inconvenient then, but it is not clearly pre clear precisely what happened to him until perhaps the game's end. cult-like vision that Anne saw could well depict the key players in their meeting place performing what seems to be some sort of blood ritual involving the buffalo. This could have been an exaggerated imagining of Anne, but what really goes on behind these closed doors. It could well be something sinister enough to get rid of Lucas if he were to discover too much. What is also possible is that these key figures are meeting at the observatory to conspire with regard to their involvement with an alien presence. Earlier in the game, as Tarver reads through Lucas's journal, she finds his depiction of a UFO hovering above the spot near the Air Force Base. Also in the journal is his rendering of an alien-like figure emerging from the tunnel. It's entirely possible, especially given the debt the game owns to sci-fi like the X films, that the government is colluding with a real alien presence and is attempting to cover up Lucas's abduction. Friend's mother, Judith Ortega, came close to exposing the conspiracy at the heart of the Bureau. Because of this, there was an internal takedown where she was accused of misconduct involving drugs, and a character assassination ended her career. Maria hasn't forgotten this. One telling point, Anne walks into Maria's office and finds her father's uniform cap on the desk where she first saw the pendant. This ties both ideas together and highlights how much the weight of her mother ordeals, or mother's ordeal hangs over Halperin, just as Anne's father's deathbed request hangs over her. It's also interesting to note that the hospital-style bed in Maria's apartment reminds Anne of her father's hospital bed, strengthening the connection Anne has with Maria. Halperin's mother used controversial methods to aid in her investigation. Use of controlled substances is mentioned on her file, and it seems that given Maria's encouragement of Anne taking acid towards the game's final act, Maria acknowledges their effectiveness. It's reminiscent of a Native American ritual, the Vision Quest, and is something that Agent Mulder utilized in the X-Files. Another subtle reference. Okay, Cord. The passage where Anne awakens to find him sat at the end of her bed imposes him as an almost father-like figure. Karen was willing to destroy Halperin's mother to stop her from closing in on the truth. Anne was willing the, to burn the box to protect her father from what was inside. Anne feels a connection to McCarran, and it's one that's racked with guilt. She feels a shame that she is anything like him. The way that he throws her badge back at her on the bed is almost shamefully disapproving in the way that only a father could be. It's a symbol of her responsibility towards the regime and her complicity within it. Huh. It is possible to interpret this as reality, however, and that both ed agents have left behind their careers within the corrupt institution of the Bureau and are leaving for greener pastures on the way to spot Lucas, who had simply decided to leave as well. A brighter ending, certainly, though perhaps one that feels the less likely of the three. The three being, uh... Hey, is it okay if I turn the fan on, or... 
Yeah, go for it. it no, you can do it. So... Okay. Interesting. That still doesn't really clear up most of the imagery in this game. This game is ridiculously random. Alright. So I'm going to end the stream here because it's late and I want to go to sleep and the game's over. Thank you guys for tuning in. Any follows are appreciated. Any viewers are appreciated. Goes without saying. See you guys later. What? Then why say it? Why not say it? It goes without saying. It goes without saying, but it doesn't mean you don't have to say it.